Hey, you guys, my beautiful lost souls. Welcome back, y'all. Um, first of all, I just want to say that I really do and love doing these tarot readings, y'all. I feel like the more I do these tarot, these celebrity tarot readings, the better I become. Like, so today's tarot reading is going to be on Ruby Rose. And, um, this was another subscriber recommendation. I mean, you don't have to be a subscriber to like, recommend me shit but if you are a subscriber and a frequent watcher that means i'm more likely to like you know take your recommendation but yeah somebody recommended this thank you so much to whoever recommended this drop down in a comment below so i could you know what i mean remember you and yeah i do actually take recommendations so if you guys have any celebrity y'all want me to do a reading on just comment down below and if i really <laughs> look okay it depends like for example, if you recommend somebody that I already recently did, I'ma still do it, but it's just not gonna be at the top of my list. Like, for example, the other day, somebody recommended Nicki Minaj, and I was like, okay, we could do her, but I already did her, so I'm not gonna, like, be so quick to do her again, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get to everybody, okay? We're trying to get into everybody's tea. So today we're doing Ruby Rose, and I'm also, like, I also really wanted to do Ruby Rose because I just feel like everybody, like the tarot readings that I've watched, the celebrity tarot readings that I watch, everybody does Holly, Bailey, and DDG, but nobody, I've never really seen anybody, I haven't seen anybody done a specific tarot reading just for Ruby Rose. And you know what I mean? Ruby Rose is more than just DDG's ex. So let's get into her. I feel like we might uncover some shit when it comes to her. So, yeah. So the first, first of all, I'm just going to get into her energy, obviously. Um, something that I do on my channel or just something that I do, period, before I actually get a reading on somebody is to get into their energy so I can get a more accurate perception of, you know what I mean, what's going on with them so that I can ask these questions and be more accurate. So we're just going to get into her energy, see what she's looking like so far, what is her mental health, what's going on, what's most, what's the most important thing she's focusing on right now. So let's just get into her energy. Also, before I continue, <laughs> if you are interested in your own love reading slash general reading slash tarot reading slash uh, ancestral reading, um, purchase one on my website just for $5. You know what I mean? I'm not going to listen. Let me just, let me plug myself real quick. Because <laughs> let me plug myself real quick. I'm not finna charge you all of this. Let me tell you something. In my opinion, certain tarot readers should not be charging you all that goddamn money. Especially if they're not experienced. Especially, okay, you have psychic abilities, right? That's cool. But this is my first year doing tarot readings. I've been wanting to do this since last year. But of course, um... I would call myself a trained tarot reader. I've been doing tarot readers on my I've been doing tarot readings on myself for like two years. I started back in 2021, I'm pretty sure. And I've been doing them on myself ever since. I've done some on my friends. Um, and people have admitted that I do have a talent, that I am psychic. Even when I'm not doing tarot readings, I can predict stuff. Um I have clairvoyance, clear audience, and hold on, let me search it up. Y'all, I can't find it, but sometimes I just know things without having any prior knowledge on it. I have the gift of just knowing. But yeah, um, shop with me. Again, it's only $5 because it's my first year. Trust me. Um, it might not always be $5. Shit, I'm, you know, I'm gonna get better at this. So take advantage while you can and shop with me. You know what I mean? You'll get your reading either today or tomorrow. It's not gonna be seven days from now, uh... You know who you are. Don't say nothing, okay? Don't say nothing. <laughs> but no, uh, yeah, you'll either get it today or tomorrow, and you're going to have your own private video. So let's get into the energy. So let me just say that Ruby Rose does not look to be doing so good these days. Um, I'm not getting she's depressed or anything, but she's kind of sad. There's a specific situation that happened that kind of saddened her, and it was due to... I'm guessing a relationship, her walking away from something, she either just broke up with somebody, a mutual breakup, she left somebody or something. We see this with the Eight of Cups and the Six of Swords, right? This is leaving an emotional connection. This is abandoning the, a thought of, 
abandoning a thought or an idea of something. So these two cards show that she just walked away from something. She broke up with somebody. Y'all com confirm for me in the comments down below if y'all know anything about Ruby Rose. Um, did she recently break up with somebody? Um, I'm seeing that this did affect her mentally. Again, the three of wands is like, I'm looking past this shit. Like, you know what I mean? I'm not looking at you. I'm looking past you. Y'all know what Nicki Minaj said. Um, and yeah, I'm just looking towards better things. I'm moving on to better things. Um, but this situation definitely, it took a lot out of her emotionally. The Ten of Swords is like defeated energy. Uh, maybe stabbed in the back. Maybe somebody did something behind her back or some form of betrayal happened, but I'm just getting like, uh, something happened and it took a lot out of her emotionally, but, um, yeah, she's currently going through a transition period of her life. So I can't explain this, but throughout our spiritual journey as humans we have periods of our life where we're doing great everything's going amazing then we have periods of our life where everything feels like it's falling down the world is against us luck is not on our side and then after that moment we have a period where we're trying to get back on our feet we're trying to find our footing we're getting back into the swing of things that is currently where she's at she's in a transition period i see this with the temperance card temperance and the death card this is like finding balance, like after something crazy just happened. So again, I keep getting like, she probably went through a breakup or she left somebody or something that at one point made her really happy or she looked forward to. And because it took so much out of her emotionally, she decided to move on. And now she's transitioning. She's renewing herself. She's finding her balance. Um, A part of her feels stuck. Like she can't do anything. Like she cannot move forward um this is like the isolation card the i don't know what to do i'm confused i'm no clarity this is the no clarity card right um whatever happened it definitely took a lot out of her the strength card is here that's like standing strong through tough times like a tornado and you have to you know what i mean or like you know when you're by the beach and you have to stick your feet in the sand to not get washed away. That's kind of like what the strength card is like. Like having to stand firm through really difficult times. Um, I see her, there's a lot of, there's a little bit of chaos around her right now. Um, this chaotic S card, the five of wands is like arguments um disagreements not being able to find common ground with someone or people some people and this is relative to something that's going on behind the scenes she may or may not be arguing with somebody in public but it's definitely going on behind the scenes with the moon card this is secrecy things that we don't see things that are done um that are not visible to the naked eye things that are hidden this could also point to infidelity if we're talking about romantic relationships. Um, next, we have, she's also focused on money as well. First of all, let me just point out the magician. Again, this is a transition period. She hasn't gotten started on anything yet, but this is like you have the potential to start whatever you want to start. For example, if you're thinking about opening a business, you can do it. You have the tools, you have what it takes. All you need to do is get started, right? This is the before you start something card like let me make sure like for example when you're baking something let me make sure i got all the ingredients before i start baking a cake that's kind of what it's like um so yeah she's worried about money right now um i see this with the four of pentacles this is like i'm not getting she's broke she's not dirt poor she's not broke but this is being more this card could represent being more responsible when it comes to money not spending a lot um i'm not gonna lie this reminds me of a a story time somebody gave a hairstylist in the uk she basically exposed ruby rose i don't know you guys like whenever i do these tarot readings on celebrities random things pop up in my head i don't know if this has anything to do with it but this happened like a year ago two years ago basically this hairstylist in the uk exposed ruby rose for running off on her and not paying her after doing her hair um, so yeah, <laughs> I just see this as Ruby Rose being more careful when it comes to her money, not, um, carelessly spending it. 
and this is reiterated with the knight of pentacles um these could you know represent each other the knight of pentacles when you look at this card he's holding on carefully to his coin he's trying to you know i mean make sure he doesn't carelessly spend it he's um prioritizing the coin i guess you know what i mean and the queen of pentacles so yeah she's not broke she's just again when you look at this queen look how she's looking at the coin she's making sure she's not dropping that shit she's not throwing it around she's making sure she is maintaining that money right when you think of a mother like a nurturing spirit she's nurturing that coin she's not just oh okay you get a coin you get a coin no bitch she's trying to make sure she takes care of that coin is ruby rose a fire sign i feel like she could either be a fire sign a air sign yeah she could either be a fire sign or an air sign um something that is going on with her recently that's happening i see the eight of wands and the page of wands something that is she's passionate about i'm not getting it has anything to do with her work it has something to do with like the, like the breakup may probably made her a little angry something puts a sour taste in her mouth and she's not happy about something that's going on currently so yeah she's just she's not depressed she's not angry like it's not giving cardi b cardi b is like depressed angry sad like she's very emotional like this isn't emotional this is just damn like i'm sad i'm annoyed i'm mad but it's not nothing crazy right and i see this with the four of cups this is just like i'm not satisfied i'm not content with what i have yeah i'm getting an offer this is when the universe grants you an offer but it's not what you want you know what i mean like you're trying to feed a child and they're not eating it because they're being picky but they're hungry they want food you're just not giving them the food they want to eat so they kind of go like mm. you know what i mean <laughs> my analogies y'all either you get it or you don't get it um and maybe this is relative to her career. The sun card is out. This is celebrity. Um, could also point to pregnancy. What's going on? Pregnancy? What's going on? Um, but this is about a celebrity, celebrity. This is about being in the spotlight. Um, interesting. Let's get into it. You know what I mean? Something about being in the spotlight, a celebrity, being a celebrity. What's going on? So the first question I have for Ruby Rose is, is she a bop? <laughs> is she a bop? <laughs> I didn't ask these questions, y'all. I didn't make these questions. <laughs> but let's ask. <laughs> to be more specific, obviously, because you can't be messing around with spirit too much. You know what I mean? Everybody be thinking tarot card is a joke. Y'all, tarot is not a joke. Like, if you ask silly questions, you'll get a silly answer. So, let's ask, is Ruby Rose a hoe? Is she promiscuous? Is she a Jezebel, as Christians like to say? Let's ask. Now, for the question, is Ruby Rose a bop? I'm getting chills because what I'm getting here is that Ruby Rose is a lot smarter than what people think. Basically, to sum it all up, Ruby Rose is not just dating these men for the fun of it. This is all an effort to advance in her career. She's dating these men for money. I mean, some of them, some of them could be real. You know what I mean? She actually catches feelings for them. But a lot of these men, she's dating them for money. She's dating them to advance in her career. And don't be mad at the player. You know what I mean? Get mad at the game. Um, A lot of these men are hoes. There are sluts in the music industry. So I don't blame her for being like, you know what? Y'all want to... You know what I mean? I'm like, y'all want to get with me? Might as well get something out of this, right? I see this with, first of all, the King of Swords. The King of Swords is like the opposite of emotional. It is the opposite of the King of Cups, the Queen of Cups. Like, this is mind over heart, mind over mind. Like, you know what I mean? This is thinking with your head, the epitome of thinking with your head and not your heart. She has to be an air sign or a fire sign. I'm getting like heavy air fire in her chart um she's not that emotional she doesn't fall in love easily um i think she's used to being sought after and yeah the high priestess is like she could have psychic ability shit but that's like this is a, a feminine energy that is extremely intelligent connected to the divine and 
almost kind of cunning. You know what I mean? How can I say this? Puts on a facade. And the reason why I say this is because when you look at this card, she's sitting in front of this veil, but you don't know what's behind the veil, right? Behind the veil, you kind of see water. But yeah, it's like she's putting on a facade. She has an ulterior motive in the back of her head, right? This She's also unreadable, right? She'll make you think something, but deep down, she's thinking a completely different thing. She, I'm not gonna lie, like, it's all, it's all in the name of advancing in her career. The Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles. She could have came from a place of struggle. She could have not had a lot of money. This is all for the coin. She's doing it for a, a money opportunity, right? The Ace is when the universe gives you an opportunity to make more money. The Nine of Pentacles is like a woman. I, in my opinion, I see this as a woman that is abundant fertile fertile right in the area of finances um and yeah this is all an effort for her career again the nine of wands this is the work hard i'm working hard to towards my goal towards to get where i want to be this is all in great effort as you see there th this person is putting all their strength into pushing these wands all in great effort to to get where she needs to be um, the star card. This is the baby sun. Um, before you become the sun, you start out as a star. And this is her trying to... I'm not saying be a celebrity. She is a clout chaser. Ruby Rose is a clout chaser. That is what I'm going to say. She is a clout chaser. This is her working towards being the sun the star is a premature sun before you become the celebrity card you start out as a star um i don't know what else to say child so yeah the reason i'm and i'm seeing this again because the empress card right this could mean a lot of men in the industry desire her yearn after her like the empress is the epitome of beauty think of like the greek god aphrodite right she is the feminine of the feminine Every man wants to be with her. She's beautiful. Um, and yeah. And she may attract a lot of emperors, right? I'm not seeing this as one emperor, which is an emperor. I don't know why I'm struggling to say that word, okay? We're just gonna call him the king. The king card is like a man, a masculine energy that is stable, has already settled his ground. When we're talking about the music industry, technically, when this card comes out, this means a male figure that has been in the music industry for years, that has laid his foundation, that is probably well-known and respected in the industry. She attracts a lot of men behind the scenes, whether they want to come out publicly or not. She attracts a lot of men behind the scenes in the music industry. And I'm seeing she sleeps with them to advance her career. I'm hearing Tyler right now. <laughs> But yeah, um, I'm also seeing, yeah, King of Wands. King of Wands, look at her. The King of Wands tend to look at her as the Empress. A lot of men who are, like I said, slut hoes. King of Wands, is a he's a hoe. The biggest tree, the biggest hoe. Think of a Sagittarius, if that helps. The biggest hoe. Okay, sleep with everybody, can't keep it in his pants. Okay, always looking out after the next. Look, look at him. He can't even just chill on his throne because he's probably looking at another bitch. She attracts a lot of King of Wands, which is probably why she doesn't take this serious. Um, so yeah, if you ever see her pop out in a public relationship, it gives publicity stunt, is what I'm gonna say. Um, the se, the five, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. The six of Pentacles is like men that give her money. These men that she's with, they will shower her in gifts, take her on trips, give her money, um, pay attention. You know what I mean? If she's going on trips, she is getting with these men for financial gain. Period, point blank. Um, there's somebody, for some reason, there's somebody who popped out in this reading with the Six of Cups that she has known. She's probably still dealing with somebody who she has known for a long time. This could be an ex she keeps going back to. Um, and then the four of wands, the, um, the four of wands came out. 
uh is she in a relationship right now with somebody who she's talked to she's been talking to she's known for a while like probably years that's interesting and again i mean we got the nine of cups and we got the world here I mean, she's she's satisfied. She's getting to that bag. She's like, you know what? I, at least I got to that bag. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, this is that I got what I wanted. Like, for example, say you are in a deal, you're in a sort of arrangement, and it's like, you got what you wanted. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I got what I had to. I got that head, that bread, then leave. Like, that's what I'm getting. Get that head, get that bread, then leave. Peace out. <laughs> she's the epitome of that saying. Um, but yeah, is is she a bop? um that's a good question yes and no she's not sleeping with these men because she's actually promiscuous she's doing it for money if you want to think of it i would call it like glamorized sugar baby glamorized sw kind of um but hey i can't hate i can't hate on it like you know what i mean you got these good looks they're not gonna last for long might as well put them to use um we got the king of pentacles at the top of the deck again she is attracting and looking for men she's not just dating anybody so technically is she a bop no a bop is somebody who messes with any and everybody she is looking for a man with money she's looking for a man that can help her who, who can advance her i'm not gonna lie i'm thinking of drewski drewski he was at he's at the height of his career and she got with him smart move smart move and then the wheel of fortune this is the lucky i'm a lucky girl this is the lucky card this is the we up all night for good fun we up all night to get some okay this is the things can turn in your favor if there's a certain situation that you're wondering i'm sorry y'all they mowing fucking grass outside if this if there's a certain situation that you're pondering on this is the things can turn out in your favor this is the giving you hope card that most likely the wheel is going to turn in your favor so let's ask the next question y'all i don't want this reading to be too long we had 22 minutes um what happened with drewski what what's her relationship with drewski was that real let's ask that all right y'all Woo! guess what um their relationship was mainly for clout i'm getting they had a little bit of feeling but it wasn't a serious relationship so was it real eh, yeah if you want to say that um but i'm just getting it was kind of for clout. Again, the high priestess, she is not an idiot. I feel like the biggest mistake people make is just boiling her down to a hoe, a slut. No, baby. She's using these men for their money. She is running them out their pockets. You know how the city girls claim they're city girls? She is a real city girl. Hasn't gotten pregnant. I mean, I think she got an abortion a couple of times, but I mean, that's just my intuitive feeling on her. But hasn't gotten pregnant hasn't stayed stuck she continues to move on i'm not sure if she can be tied down um but yeah again this is like the ulterior motive like the feminine like this is a real feminine like really smart outsmarting these men like facade illusion like queen of facade and illusion right then we got the king of wands and the page of wands this is purely passion i mean Again, the fact that the page came out, the page is premature, immature energy. Like, this was, they probably had a fling, you know what I mean? Probably used to mess around, like, hunch. But it's not giving emotional. I don't see, like, they had any emotional connection here. It's kind of detached. Like, I don't see any emotional connection. I don't see, like, they even got to that point. Like, this is more so, I like you. I like you. We're good friends. We get along just fine. But I don't, I don't like you like you you know what i'm trying to say but they hunched a couple of times don't want to know how that i don't want to envision that you know no offense that doesn't seem like a good image to have in your mind so i'm moving on um again the lovers came out the lovers do not have to be it does not have to be an actual deep connection this is a contract this can represent contracts um partnerships and i'm just seeing this as strictly that a contract a partnership um the six of wands came out this is the attention card this is the attention whore card if you look at him he's on his high horse literally he's enjoying the attention he's looking out to everybody he is soaking up that attention you're riding through the village and soaking up all these people giving you their energy this was purely for attention purely for the public eye this was a contract 
for the public eye. Um, I'm not getting it goes any deeper than that. Unless we're talking about money, of course. Um, <clears throat> the Ten of Pentacles came out and the Two of Pentacles came out. Somebody in this relationship was struggling with money and they came up. Somebody who is not the best when it comes to finances came up. Came up in this in this relationship. They gained more money. They gained more than they left with. Um, <clears throat> so next, the... Hmm... There was a little bit of turbulence in this relationship. Before we continue, the Empress card came out. Obviously, this is how Drewski sees her as the Empress. He really did like her. Um, I'm getting more so sexual energy, though. Like, he finds her hot, attractive, the epitome of beauty. Um, somebody was a little bit disappointed in this connection. But anyways, um, yeah, continuing on. We have four cards, which is the... I'm leaving this connection. I um, got to let it go. Got to move one card, right? We have the six of, we have the six of swords, the eight of, the eight of cups, the three of wands, and the two of wands. These, all these cards, what does it look like? Their back is turned. Their back is turned. They're looking away. And they're moving on. These are the moving on cards. Like, there's not, like, I can't go into depth because they all show the same picture. Somebody, I'm seeing somebody specifically, though. Somebody specifically was disappointed in this connection. It's not what they wanted it to be. And once they realized that, they were like, damn, you know, it kind of sucks it has to end this way, but I got to move on. Don't want to waste my time. Um, and I'm seeing it was probably Drewski that was a little bit disappointed in this connection. Or shit, could have been the both of them. Somebody was disappointed and just decided to move on. And the other person was like, yeah, I think this isn't gonna... You know what I mean? They're not truly compatible, so there's nothing left to do here. Um, We have the Seven of Wands. This is, again, feeling defensive, combative, having to defend defends, defend one's, one's stance. Um, Somebody in this connection felt bullied on the internet or they probably got heavily criticized from the internet this could have been drewski or this could have been her like fans could have been commenting like oh my gosh there's no way you got this girl like how the hell did drewski bag ruby rose and he could have felt defensive from that or ruby rose could have been receiving comments like oh she's a hoe she's a slut look at her with another man on the in the industry and this could have made her feel combative and defensive um but yeah somebody had to have strength Throughout this relationship, somebody in this relationship transformed. They were not the same person they were leaving out this relationship. They they were one person when they came in this connection. And by the time this connection was over with, they were a completely different person. And yeah, the chariot, somebody starting on a new path. It's like, well, that was the end of that. It's time to, time to start a new journey. Um, Yeah. I'm just getting, there's a certain ex Ruby Rose is holding on to that she cannot let go of. But anyways, let's ask the question everybody's been wanting to ask. What is Ruby Rose's, what is Ruby Rose's connection with DDG? What is her relationship with DDG at this current moment? Let's ask. All right, you guys, while I was shuffling on Ruby Rose's current, um, relationship with ddg i just kept hearing Nicki minaj i still love 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 uh, um yeah um let's get into this tea real quick okay y'all guess what came out the king and the queen of wands purely passionate twin flame i'm getting twin flame energy like we're no good for each other but we can't let go of each other like think of that one auntie and uncle at the at the cookout they be arguing but you know they can't let go of each other like one second they're cracking jokes they're joking on each other the next second they're arguing and shit like this is that one auntie and uncle this is the epitome of a twin flame connection a karmic relationship they low-key don't need to be together but somebody cannot let go of the other or it could be a mutual thing again purely passionate overly passionate arguing toxic toxicity um just toxic couple um and this could also mean that you know what i mean that was great they was hunching on each other like dogs um 
And yeah, this was a divine connection. I see the lovers and the devil. Usually when these two cards come out together, this is a complicated, complicated, I don't know what you call it, but like a relationship that's not one dimensional. Like what is that word? Like when it's not cut and clear, there's different layers to it. Um, yeah, there, this could be twin flames. Usually when this card comes out, this signifies like twin flames. Um, it was toxic. Like they were fated to meet each other, but it was also fated to go toxic and they were not meant to be together for the rest of their lives. This could be a karmic connection, but I'm getting twin flame as well because we got the king of wands and then the lovers and the devil. Yeah. Um, somebody in this connection was in it for the clout, the fame, the sun card came out. Somebody could have got pregnant they could have got pregnant and obviously there is no child so the baby probably got aborted um but yeah this was a this was a relationship somewhat based off a of clout and somebody got pregnant child attention attention seeking um somebody in this connection transformed they were not the same person they were coming in they were a different person coming out and i see this with the death card um yeah somebody transformed somebody in this relationship, this relationship caused one person or maybe both of them to transform into a new person. Um, <clears throat> again, clout, the six of wands, somebody was getting a lot of attention from the situation. This could be one and or both of them. Um, I'm just seeing somebody wasn't enjoying the attention they got from this relationship. Nothing more to say than that. Somebody views, I'm seeing Ruby Rose because there is no other masculine in this relationship um ruby rose viewed him as the emperor i'm getting she really liked him like big money dominant masculine figure um she really liked him this is the epitome of masculine energy when somebody views you as the emperor that is like such a huge compliment as a man you know what i'm saying big daddy energy somebody was getting money from this relationship um somebody was helping the other out in their finances i'm getting this could have been ruby rose um like DDG could have been helping Ruby Rose with her finances. Um, but somebody just can't let go. Um, the Nine of Swords is like, this is keeping me up at night. Like, this is shit. Like, you know, you know somebody really cares when they're thinking about this shit before they go to bed. Like, this is keeping me up at night. I think about it sometimes. I can't get it off my mind. Um, the Knight of Cups, the Ace of Cups. This is like... I still have feelings. It's not I'm still in love with you or anything, but I still have feelings for you. It's not nothing deep. This is premature energy, but I still kind of care. Um, somebody has decided to lay the situation, one in or both of them, has decided to just let it go. Um, I see this with the four of, the four of swords is like, I'm gonna rest on it. I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna just, you know what I mean? Take my mind put my mind at ease a little bit i'm a rest latest situation arrest the two of wands is like somebody could have been cheated cheating during this relationship looking at other options even though they have this this wand right here they have this other wand, and, and they have the world in their hands they're still looking somewhere else so they could have cheated on each other or someone could have cheated on the other somebody was satisfied in this connection emotionally fulfilled in this connection they were content they were happy probably was toxic as fuck but they was happy i guess and they could still be talking on the low and i see this with the two of cups which is some communication could still be had between the both of them so but overall the world card is here a cycle has ended i don't see them getting back together like this is the the end like the end this is the world is the end card for me this is the last card of the tarot deck this is when a cycle has completed the story the chapter done story closed book closed put the book away and return it to the library like this is it that's the end of their story i don't see them getting seriously getting back together and even if they do it won't last long because they're not meant to be together they're karmics or probably twin flames who knows and finally but not least 
we are going to ask if she has any sexual trauma. Um, this question is relative to the is she a bop? Because usually people with sexual trauma, I'm not laughing, I'm not trying to joke. This is gonna be very serious. Um, because again, usually people with sexual trauma, um, the way they deal with it is they turn out to be very promiscuous. Um, they tend to, yeah. So let's ask if she has any sexual trauma. All right, so for anybody who's asked, um, yeah, I'm getting, yeah. Mind you, there's different forms of sexual trauma. You could also be sexually traumatized, not only by a bad sexual experience that you could have consented or not consented to. Um, when you are having intercourse with somebody, you are transmitting energy and whatever negative energy they could be harboring inside could leach onto you. Negative energy is very contagious, child. So... I'm getting this with the moon card. This is something she has or has not revealed. This is majority, probably a secret, most likely. She hasn't told anybody. She keeps this close to her chest. Um, Again, this caused her some sort of emotional distress. This was a loss. Like, This could have caused her to lose an emotional connection she didn't really want to lose. Um, This could have been by a male figure again this is the masculine card the emperor a male figure with power in her life um i'm not getting exactly when again tarot doesn't necessarily tell you time sometimes um again just the king of pentacles like probably somebody with money this could have been by somebody in the industry i'm getting because a powerful male figure with a lot of money um yikes the tower card this could have destroyed her um damn like i don't even want to talk about it like this is something she keeps close to her chest the eight of swords this is it caused her to feel scared probably confused like she can't do anything or go anywhere um victimized yeah um yeah that's pretty much it you guys um it's pretty sad um just goes to show you shouldn't judge anybody based off of anything i'm getting ruby rose is not an evil person um she is money hungry i'm getting her finances are good but they're not stable enough and the reason why she goes around the industry to men and kind of gets passed around is for money to advance in her career she's doing this all in hopes that this will help her career and yeah it's kind of sad so yeah that's pretty much it you guys um comment down below some other celebrities y'all want me to do tarot readings on and again i'm not just doing these tarot readings for the hell of it even though i love it i'm also doing this for practice and to showcase my abilities so if you want a career reading or a love reading or any ancestral reading general reading go shop down below it's only five dollars and yeah, no extra charge. I don't do shipping, none of that shit. Just $5. And yeah, I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.